Oftentimes new clients come in and ask us, is Social Security actually taxed? And the bad answer, the sad answer is, yeah, unfortunately it can be. So then we help them figure out a strategy to not pay tax on their Social Security. I'm gonna share some details coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners and owners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and smash that thumbs up button. Okay, Social Security is one of the most important financial resources that you have available for your retirement. And I know, I know the speculators are gonna say, yeah, if it's even around and we've got insolvency and blah, blah, blah. I know, yeah, I mean, Social Security is at risk. The system was set up decades and decades and decades ago. The world looked very different. The human life, the human experience looked very different and it just has not changed to keep up with the changing demographics. However, that doesn't, that doesn't negate the fact that it is one of the most important financial resources available to your retirement. So you've got to make a great decision. One of those decisions is how do I make sure that I am as tax sensitive as possible with my Social Security? Wait a second, Social Security is taxable? Yes, it actually can be. And if I can just go on a quick rabbit trail and I could actually get on my soapbox and preach to you about this, your, what you pay into Social Security is through FICA. It's that four letter F word. And that's what goes to fund the Social Security system. And FICA, unless you're a pastor um, or unless you're self-employed, uh, half of it, um, you're, it's not a deduction. You actually have to pay tax on the FICA that you send into the government. And then that FICA money goes to fund the Social Security system. And then when they start paying it back to you in Social Security, that's right, they could tax it again. That's double taxation, folks. Move to Canada. I'm just kidding. I have no idea if it's any better up there. But I mean, it, it just gets me going. I go crazy over how the whole system is set up. So really, you're already double taxed. How can we make it single taxed? How can we, how can you set up your Social Security so that when you're drawing it out in retirement, you're not paying any tax? That's the big idea. You've got to work with your certified financial planner on because everyone's situation is a little bit different. But if this strategy works for you, and we've seen it work for lots of people, let me show you how you can make sure your Social Security is not taxed. First, whether or not it is taxable, you've got to look at whether you're, you're married, file, filing jointly, or single, but there's a calculation where you look at all of your other income, they call it a modified adjusted gross income, but you look at all of your other income. So interest and dividends and capital gains and your pension and your IRA withdrawals, and you, you add up all of your other income plus half of your Social Security that you took that year. So all of your other income added up plus half of your Social Security that you took that year. And if that number is over for, let's say, a married couple, if it's over, say, $33,000, $34,000, then some of your Social Security starts becoming taxable. And it's not much higher where it goes from some of your Social Security's being taxable to 50% is taxable to most is taxable to the maximum is 85% of your Social Security is taxable if that calculation of all of your other income plus half of your Social Security is over around $44,000 for a married couple. Now, I, I just said that from 32 two, 33, 34,000 to 44,000 in that range. That's not a big range. So you can go, we easily see people in retirement go from not paying any tax on their social security to all of a sudden paying tax on almost all of it, 85% of it. And so you've got to have some careful tax planning and a lot of it, that tax planning for you can start today. So what is this strategy I talk about? How can you avoid paying tax on your social security? Well, as you're entering these final years of your working career, if you're working with your certified financial planner and this all makes sense, you may, you may wanna consider stuffing some dollars away, saving some dollars in a, in a manner that you can live off of those dollars for the first few years of retirement using a non IRA or a joint type of account, or maybe you've got some cash in the bank that you've been building up. And if you structure it properly, when you retire and kiss that paycheck goodbye, you can replace that paycheck fully with 
some resources out of cash or out of a non-IRA, an account where you're not paying a lot of tax to, to get access to the money and replace your paycheck. All right, so then do you just enjoy paying no tax for a while? No, you delay your social security, so effectively your, tax, your, ta your taxable income is zero, and you start shifting your pre-tax dollars, your IRA dollars, your pre-tax dollars that have never been taxed before, you start converting those to a Roth IRA. And you start shifting dollars from where you pull them out taxable to accounts where they'll grow tax-free and you'll pull them out tax-free. And you do that while you're delaying your social security, letting that grow for 8% per year approximately, okay? And then you're using, and yes, depleting that cash, depleting that joint account over the next, usually people are doing this from eh, 64, 65 for three or four years, okay? Doing so delays their social security, allowing it to grow 8% a year until roughly 69 or 70 where it maxes out. They've depleted their cash, maybe not to the point where it is at bare bones, but still a comfortable level. And they've been able to transition somewhere close to $100,000 a year from pre-tax IRA, 401k, over to Roth IRA, where it's gonna grow tax-free forever. Then at age 69, 70, you turn on your, so your social security and you supplement your social security with withdrawals, but only really a little bit because your social security has grown so much, only a little bit from your IRA and you can supplement the rest from the Roth. And in doing so, if you're looking at that formula and being, uh, being intentional with it, you'll be able to do so where you'll basically stay in the 10, 12% tax bracket and not pay tax on your social security for the rest of your life. Now, that's a, that's a fairly complicated strategy. It very, very much depends on your overall financial situation, but that's why I communicate in every video, you've gotta work with your certified financial planner because your CFP is the one that's going to be able to look at your overall financial situation and see if a strategy even closely, remotely similar to that makes sense. If it does, if it does, they'll help you figure out a way to thread the needle, maximize your social security, and minimize the tax that you have to pay on it over your lifetime. I've seen several individuals come in to see me and see our advisory team at Corhorn Financial Group where they have the financial makeup for this. So an individual that I'm meeting with tomorrow um, actually has, eh, it's about 250,000 in cash, and another 50,000 in joint accounts, and the rest of their million dollars or 1.5 million, it's all in pre-tax accounts. So they're 64 and 65 right now figuring out a way for them to delay social security if that makes sense for them, live off of that cash for the next few years, been in doing so, they'd be paying no tax. It might feel great until wham, they start drawing their social security, start drawing money out of their IRA, and they're paying a bunch of tax. They're in the 22% tax bracket and paying tax on 85% of their social security. There's a different way to do it. Live off of that cash, start converting dollars, about 100,000 a year you can do and still stay within the 12% tax bracket, or maybe you wanna go into the 22% tax bracket. Convert a whole bunch of that IRA that lets your social security grow, then you can supplement it with a little IRA withdrawal, maybe a little Roth withdrawal, and you'll never have to pay tax again. Contact your certified financial planner, see if that's a plan that works for you, or if you still have a few years before retirement, see if you can start leveraging that plan, taking some steps today so that you can avoid paying tax on your social security in the future. Reach out to your CFP for help. If you need one or a second opinion, you can reach out to my team of CFPs here at Corhorn Financial Group online, Corhorn.com, that's Corhorn with a K, wisemoneyshow.com, you'll find us there as well, or send us an email, info at Corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.